everyone. Um, before our presentation, I want to have a count. How many of you have your own water bottle? Please raise it up. Raise your bottle up. Your own bottle, not a disposal one. So only a few of you has your own water bottle. So most of you, like most of my friends, they buy a buy water in disposal water bottle every day, but do you think it is okay to do so? I'll show you a video now. one person to destroy a habitat and a life. So our, so our topic today is free the ocean with plastics. And we're going to talk about uh, how does those plastic do harm to marine organism and human being. And also uh, we will introduce one of the plastic waste in details is called microbes. And we will um, introduce some solutions of disposal of it. For the current situation of marine plastic, it, um, as I mentioned, in the Great Pacific Patch, the plastic there is like an island. And how how many plastic is there? If you want to clean up it by floating on a boat and catching up the litters by fishing net, it will take you thousands of years that much. 
and these plastic filaments will sometimes trap the sheet, so cause the hazard for uh, navigation. And more than that, it do a lot of harm to our marine organisms. And this is a turtle life because of eating too much plastic, because they cannot, uh, they cannot, cannot, um, cannot distinguish the stuff in this side. Is it, 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 it can be eat or not. And this is a little seal trap in the plastic bag. Okay. And for this is for this fish, it that's because it eats a lot of plastic pallets, and that's a kind of plastic waste we always ignore, but do in unimaginable harm to the environment. It's called microbes, and my partner will introduce it in detail. Microplastic may be small, but they are causing great problems for environmental and our health. They are tiny pieces of plastic used to in our personal skin care and are designed to go down to the gym and into the ocean, lake, and river, as well as the inland waterway by billions every day. And they are everywhere. You may be swishing them in your mouth or rubbing them in your face. And they are mostly found in face shop, body wash, and even toothpaste. They are sometimes in lip gloss and nail polish, and even in our HD fine makeup, it fills your wrinkle with plastic dust. So, what is plastic microbats? Microbats are tiny plastic molecules which will be smaller than 2 millimeters. The composition of plastic microbats may be varies, and they are include in polyethylene, polypeptide, polyethylene terephthalate, polymethylate, or neon. Bottom line, they are all plastic. And they are so small that the water treatment plant cannot fill them out. Even worse, the tiny piece of plastic that like sponges soaking up all the toxic like pesticide, fire, flame retardant, water oil, and industrial chemical, such as small plastic bags can end up a billion times more toxic than the water around. So if once enter the waterway, they are going to be eaten by the fish and other animals, and the toxic absorb in their body, in the in the plastic transfer to the fish and make their way up to the food chain all the way to our dinner plate, and how's the cycle of life? And you might not realize that you are using that unless you know what you you to look for. In United in the United States, the Food and the Drug Administration requires that if a product contains microbes, the company has to list the ingredients. Not all countries require this, but many producers list their ingredients anyway. If you see any of the ingredients we have just mentioned, P E P P P E T P M M A or Naira, you are cleaning up with plastic and are being duped into contributing to a plastic pollution in the environment. So why do so why do companies put these plastic microbes? in their product to begin with. Well, for one, plastic is cheaper than the natural exfoliant we used to use. Plastic is an excuse to sell more stuff. Companies put that in this product as exfoliant or just for texture, but there is no proof they even help. Those natural exfoliants work so well, you could only use them once a week. Microbes are smooth enough to use every day, which means you run out of them more quickly and have to buy more, more of that product. So we can try to avoid products with microbes, but it's a bigger problem what companies put on the shelf in the first place. The good news is some companies are already removing plastic microbes from their products, and many Place are considering outright ban. We need to get them out of our stuff, out of our waterways, and out of our bodies. And we need to take action for all of the plastic litters we produce. I will pack it back to Sabrina. 
for the solutions of all of those plastic disposal. Um, the first one is you don't use it in the first stage. So um, I re recommend you to bring a green bag when you're shopping and take your own water bottle, bring your own water bottle to school and think twice before you choose those products contain microbes. Um, if you need to exfoliate your skin, you can choose those natural natural beads for for substitution like salt, sugar, and AHA, it's guo, sun ning zhao in Chinese, and which are natural and much less harmful to the environment than microbes, than plastic microbes. Okay. And the second strategy is to reuse. It is better to add them, to add those plastic waste to those um, daily use goods than distributing the ocean. The second one is recycle it. Um, every 2,000 tons of plastic waste that is um, produced in Guangzhou per day can be transferred into five times 10 to the power of five liters gasoline and five times 10 to the power of five um, diesel. But um, to do so, the premise is that you help to help to promote a efficiency garbage collecting. And you can do more action like research on technology. This guy, Boyan Slav, if you have interest in it, you can search him. He's a university student who um, invited and created a lot of machines to clean up the ocean. So be part of the solution, not the pollution. That's our reference. Thank you for your listening.